Every day, our natural heritage and the basic rights of countless people are threatened by destruction, corruption, and trafficking. And every day, Freeland and our partners are deployed across the globe to do something about it. Join us at the front line and help us make our world free of wildlife trafficking and human slavery. This is a slow loris. You may have seen them in videos posted online or on social media. They are adorable little animals. But most people don't know that the slow lorises kept in captivity are in a very bad situation. My name is Onkuri Majumdar and I am a National Geographic Emerging Explorer and the Director of Freeland India, working to protect wildlife from poaching and trafficking. Slow lorises have a toxic bite, so their teeth are removed before they are sold as pets. They are also nocturnal, which makes it uncomfortable for them to be awake during the daytime when they should be sleeping. And on top of all this, they are an endangered species, often taken from the wild for the illegal pet trade. As an investigator, I have worked on several cases in the past involving the illegal trade of slow lorises. In one big case, we successfully worked with a police team to rescue slow lorises and bust a network of smugglers who were selling them all over the world. I sail from Spain, go to America, oh. uh, Europe, uh, Asia. Wow! But uh, men buy from me, take uh -huh. medicine, one medicine, yes. sleep about 20, 20 hours. Slow lorises are often sold at markets like this, as are other wild animals. Now we can work with law enforcement to try and stop the bad guys and get them arrested and rescue the wild animals, but that's a short-term solution. There are so many markets like this. What we really need to do is reach out to the consumers and ask them to stop buying. People like to take pictures with slow lorises because they're such cute animals. But those people are usually unaware of their critical conservation status. Freeland has taken several actions to raise awareness and protect slow lorises. One of them was our campaign, No Photos Please. To stop people from supporting the use of slow lorises in tourism, we placed posters in strategic locations, like the streets where tourists pay to take photos with wild animals. The posters highlighted the terrible situation of the animals and discouraged the tourists from paying for photos with slow lorises and supporting the illegal business. Knowing what is driving the demand for trafficked wildlife is crucial in developing a strategy to stop the trade. In Russia, keeping slow lorises as pets is becoming popular among teenagers a fad that has increased the illegal pet market dramatically. To combat this growing trend, Freeland partnered with AsiaWorks Television to develop an online media strategy. Since the slow loris market in Russia is increased by many viral videos, we created a satirical video aimed to have the opposite effect. Three, two, one, action! Приветики! Кто у нас сегодня такой мими миленький? Прямо из далекого Таиланда. Мам, чего?
Ой, как мы сладенько кушаем. Что случилось? Ой, а? Девушка, успокойтесь. Помогите. What's really sad is that young people and tourists are helping to promote this trade. If we continue at this rate, soon there may no longer be any slow lorises left in the wild. So please, don't buy slow lorises. Don't take pictures with slow lorises in tourist areas. Don't upload videos of your slow loris. Don't do any of that and ask your friends not to do it either. Together, we can beat this. Help us spread the word.